One pager makes it easy to update your existing chart to keep it in sync as your project plan changes. To get started, let's first cover the difference between a one pager chart and a snapshot, since understanding these two concepts is important to understanding the different ways you can perform an update. Everything in one pager starts with your source file, typically something from Microsoft Project or Excel. Some or all of the data from that source file is imported into OnePager to create your chart. The chart is the main OnePager document and has a .tam extension. When you create a new OnePager chart, you'll notice on the OnePager import wizard that you'll be asked to choose a snapshot date. A snapshot is like a date-specific version of your OnePager chart. Typically, when you first create a chart in OnePager, you will create your first snapshot as of today's date. Over time, as your project plan changes, you can update that same OnePager chart and simply add more snapshots to it at different dates. Here, all three snapshots live within the same OnePager chart or TAM file. This makes it easy to flip back and forth between the different snapshots in your chart and see how your project has changed from month to month. Let's take a look at an example. I've created a sample chart for the sake of the demonstration that looks like something I might need to present on a weekly basis to the same audience. They will expect me to come in week after week and present the updated version of this chart. If I navigate to the View tab in the ribbon, you'll notice three snapshot navigation buttons in the upper left. My previous and next buttons are grayed out currently, but once I add another snapshot to this chart, I'll be able to click back and forth between the snapshots that I have to allow an animation of what's changed from one report iteration to the next. I also have a List All button that allows me to see all of the snapshots that I've accumulated in this chart and manage them if I need to. I can delete any snapshots that I no longer need, or I can change the dates associated with each snapshot if necessary. Let's say that I've presented this visual to my audience today, and now I'm going to essentially forget about it until the next time I need to meet with them. Over the course of the next week, some change will occur in my project file. For example, we might change some durations or end dates for various tasks and update the percent complete for others. With these updates complete, now I can launch one pager and perform what we call a push update, which means I'm pushing data up into the chart that I've already created. We're going to create a new snapshot, but first let's pause and talk about the difference between new and replace and why you might use one over the other. When you want to track changes between one version of your project and the next, you'll want to add a new snapshot to your chart. Once you have more than one snapshot in the same one pager chart, you can flip back and forth between those snapshots to animate any difference between the original snapshot and the latest snapshot. This ability to view the same project at different points in time and track changes as they happen is one of the biggest benefits of OnePager's snapshot feature. Replacing an existing snapshot instead of adding a new one will take the updates that you've made to your project plan and overwrite the data that you already have in one of your existing snapshots. You might use this option if you realize that you need to just make some minor corrections to your source file to fix a snapshot that you just created, but you're not really trying to track changes between those two different updates. There are three replace modes, dates in progress, all properties, and all properties confirm. The difference between dates in progress and the all properties option is that dates in progress is designed to only refresh a subset of the fields from your source file, like start and finish dates, status, critical path, and percent complete, things that are naturally going to change from one update to the next. On the other hand, the all properties option will perform a full refresh, including things that don't change very often, like your task names, swim lane groupings, and WBS outline levels. So, if you've made significant structural changes to your project plan, an all properties update might be the best choice. The confirm option will go change by change between your source file and one pager to determine whether you want to make an update or not. 
It's useful if you've made a few changes and want to review them one at a time, but if you've made a lot of changes, you probably don't want to review each change individually, so this is more of an advanced option. Now let's go back and create a new snapshot so that one pager can take a fresh look at our data and render a new snapshot as of a different date. Let's take a look at some changes that have occurred now that we've added this second snapshot. Notice that I also have a previous button illuminated on my view tab now in the upper left, and if I click that button, I'll be taken back in time to the first snapshot. If I bounce back and forth between these two snapshots, you'll notice that I'm essentially animating what's changed from one report iteration, or snapshot, to the next. In this case, we have some dates that have moved, percent complete has advanced, and some of the colors, which are based on status, have also changed between those two snapshots. Again, this is the value of the snapshot, the ability for you to animate the change in your project and see how things are progressing. Snapshots are unique to OnePager. Outside of a push update, you can also initiate a pull update from within the data tab of the ribbon. This will retrieve updated data from your project schedule without you ever having to leave one pager. Think of this as a real-time refresh. If you want to do a quick refresh of your current snapshot as of the same date, clicking the Replace Snapshot button is how to do this. This will replace dates and progress, but not all properties. If you want to quickly add a new snapshot, you can click on the Add Snapshot button and pick a new date from the calendar. If you want the full set of update options, maybe because you need to refresh your task names or because your WBS outline levels have changed, click on the Custom Update button and you'll be able to choose All Properties versus Dates and Progress, as well as other update settings, just like we showed earlier during the Push Update. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.